Good morning. While you are watching this, we are in Sweden. It's uh, Friday morning. I'm uh, in a forest or on the parking lot of a forest where I have been loads of times uh, last year. And then I mean like I've been there every week to see how the deer are here, how many, um, where they are and um, on what times. So it's uh, quite early. It's, uh, I don't know, 6.20 or so. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm a bit tired still. This morning I'm gonna try to look for deer. It's raining, so it's not the best weather. But um, yeah, let's hope they uh, show up. And <laughs> this uh, early wake up was not a waste of time. I've seen one fellow deer, it was a male one with a nice antler already, it had to sneeze <laughs> and then it ran off. Quite a lot of rain, so it's not uh, the best weather. And I don't know if I'm gonna see anything else, but so far it's quite uh, quiet. Maybe they're all hiding underneath the trees and uh, yeah, try to stay uh, dry a bit. But anyway, it's nice to be outside, even though it rains. I don't really care about that a lot. So um, yeah, it's fine to be here with my coffee and uh, just the silence of uh, nature. It's actually not silent because there are loads of birds who are singing. I hear loads of woodpeckers who try to find insects. Yeah, so it's actually quite a nice morning. I'm gonna enjoy this coffee, then uh, continue the walk. I'm like halfway of the normal walk I do here. Uh, yeah, let's see <laughs> how it will be with the weather. Uh, if I have to shorten it or maybe can extend it if it dries up a bit. But it doesn't look like that. sign here says entrance forbidden. In this forest there are loads of uh, paths like the one here that are closed off for people. Uh, that's just to give all the wildlife some rest and uh, yeah, keep people out of some areas so they have some space for their own. Because yeah, in the Netherlands we have loads of people uh, we have 17 or 18 million almost, so in comparison to Sweden, um, <laughs> which have 9 million people, which is like half, and the country is 11 times bigger than the Netherlands, um, actually kind of signs like this are the signs where, uh, why I want to move out of the Netherlands. We are so packed with people here. For me, all these people feel a bit like stress. Uh, <laughs> if I walk in the city, I always want to get out of there like after five seconds. And in Sweden, you just have loads of nature. The nature is from everybody, so you don't find these signs there very often. Only uh, yeah, on private properties, which is uh, pretty nice. Um, yeah, so... Uh, that's one of the reasons why we want to get out of here and um, just be together with uh, 10 million trees 
around you and uh, not 10 million people. Almost uh, three hours in the forest with in the end loads of uh, fallow deer which was nice to uh, see even a male one I actually always find here that you see them very rarely so that was nice now I have to pick up the mattress for the roof tent because uh, we ordered a new one so it's made last week and it should be ready today so I can pick that up and uh, yeah let's see what the rest of the day will bring I also already mounted the roof rack on the canopy so I did that I put an aluminum box on it so I've been busy this week with uh, fixing things on the Land Rover to make it uh, more uh, travel ready and uh, be more self supportive which is uh, very nice um, let's go to the company that uh, made the mattress and uh, pick that up Again, it's a few days later. I took the Land Rover out to, uh, yeah, fit the mattress in the roof tent. So I'm gonna unfold the roof tent and uh, see if it fits. centimeters thick uh, because that's uh, the thickest we can fit in the roof tent it's brand new so it's nice and um, yeah will be nice for some wild camping in Sweden or wherever on the world I'm gonna end this video as I said in the beginning we are already in Sweden so I hope next video will be about Sweden for now I want to say thank you for watching and uh, see you next time, bye bye. <laughs>